Hello, this video is going to show you how to use layering to transition elements from one color to another. So a user in the forum was trying to solve this problem based on a video that they saw of somebody else's sequence. Um, in this case here, we've got a, um, a row of trees, many trees here. These are traditional analog trees, so they have red, green, and blue strings of lights on each one. So there's three strings of lights, one red, one green, one blue on each one of these across there. And I want to take and transition these randomly from um, red to green. So I want to turn off the red lights and turn on the green ones as we go along. So I've set up a base color here. You can see it across here that turns them all on red. And then I want to turn them on green. So I've set up some random set levels here, kind of, you know, in areas where they, I want them to come on and in some random fashion and be green. But when they come on and turn turn the green ones on, I want to make sure that the red lights also go off so that they are just solely green. So what I've done is add additional um, set level effects in here. And you can see that I'm using red for the color. I've got it set down to one for the intensity. And these are in parallel along with the green colors that I want on. And then in my layering, I've actually created a mask layer here that I'm going to use for these colors here that are turning off. So the red layer, I'm in, I've put this in the mask layer. See that right there? So the red here uh, at a level of one or basically off is going to turn this red off when it gets to it, and then the green will turn the green light on when it gets there. Once I've got them all turned on to green, I'm going to reverse this, and I'm going to go along here and uh, change my set level overall to green, and then I'm going to turn them back on in red one by one. So let's see what this looks like when we play it here. So you can see here they're turning on red, red or green. The red ones are going off one by one. And I can set up that random pattern. Now they're all green, and we're turning them back on one at a time as red and, and random pattern there. So I just copied and pasted the same pattern over. But you can mix this up however you want. The key thing is to make sure that the two pairs on each element of the mask and the, and the color you want to turn on stay together. So that's how you would do it for um, analog strings. It's slightly different if you've um, if you've got um, traditional pixels in the smart pixels now. So in this case down here, I've re I've done the same thing again. Only I'm using some stars here that are that are pixels in the setup here. So um, I've turned the same basic setup here. In this case though. I've removed that mask level in there because I, I don't need this at this point now because these are just you know smart nodes. I have a lot more control over them. The main difference is these colors here are now using the mask and fill layer here. So I want to mask out the red and fill it with the green. And I can do this with you know smart pixels quite easily. So in this case here, you see these are in the mask and fill layer. I've done the exact same effect here with it at this point in time. So let's come over here, start this guy up here, and you'll be able to see that they um, are turning on one at a time in the green color. They're all green. Now I'm turning them on as red, replacing them along the way there. So that simulates the effect with um, with pixels and traditional um, you know, string discrete nodes in uh, Vixen 3. Enjoy.